obviously you you quit quit on your own but was there any sort of help or ways because there's going to be loads of guys like you who are not alcoholics or not you know it's not affecting them massively yeah but it's just enough to stop them doing shit yeah you know what i mean it, so what would we was there any is there any sort of places that you can go locally or nationally or um that's, yeah you know well, not yeah there is so you can obviously speak to your gp so like we talked about mm. in the beginning you know don't take my advice as as gospel this is just yeah. my own personal experience um you know seek professional advice go yeah. to your gp you've obviously got um organizations like aa and you know that that was you know i'm not ashamed to say this there were certainly towards the end of me stopping there were a couple of occasions where i'd considered that as an option yeah and i don't know there's a little bit i found there was i feel like there's a bit of a stigma with that that yeah. the sort of people that go to that are proper addicts you some know, of them are though yeah you know there's no yeah, ways yeah. about it but that's what i was trying to get at the people that are not completely yeah so i, I did, so i didn't want to do that um i just yeah i wasn't prepared to to yeah. be around you know people like that as, as elitist as that sounds but that's just how i felt i didn't want to do it um so yeah i think help wise yeah gp but for me mate it was just i don't know it was it was you know listening to people like i don't know jordan peterson andrew huberman yeah you know hopefully us one day you know what i mean but listening to people that are out there just talking about how you can self-develop and optimize and the barriers that are going to be there stopping you yeah um so i think it was a combination of you know of, of, of identifying certain behaviors in myself primarily around like coming up with an idea wanting to do something with it and then just bottling it basically just not having the balls to do stuff um so a little bit was reflecting on like you know looking in on myself and going, why why you know what's what's the barrier why am i not doing that what am i worried about and then listening to people like Huberman, Peterson, where they talk about the effects on the brain um, of drinking. And it was just like connecting the dots, really. You know, I mean, I, I, I knew drinking too much is bad. You know, I, I work for a fucking healthcare charity in quite a senior position. Yeah. You know, I work very closely with primary care professionals in physiology, mental health, GPs. So I'm around these people. So I know damn well that drinking is bad for your health.